and welcome to episode 21 of my Let's Play of Shining Force 2 The Shining Tactics Mod by Dark Claw. In the last episode, we experienced the entire horror that is chess for psychopaths. Um, yeah. Uh, and here we are on Floor World, uh, and now we are about to go into here and face our next battle. Um, I cannot remember if there's actually anything hidden in here. I seem to remember that there wasn't in this bit, and as soon as we go down here we get the next battle, don't we? Hmm, I could be wrong. It has been a while, as I have said a few times. Here we go. The devil smelt like ditches, really? What huge rats that can spin around on the spot. Yay, dinner time. So we have some new enemy types here to have a quick look at. When we actually get a turn. Jeez. <laughs> Our turn yet? Okay, so, first up we have the Bubbling Ooze, which has 78 HP, which is nothing special, 75 attack, which is quite damn high, but only 40 defense, which is actually getting fairly low by this point, uh, 41 agility, which is high, but only 4 movement per turn. And next we have the Rat, uh, with 90 HP. 78 attack, 42 defense, 48 agility, and 6 movement. That's pretty high stats all around, really. Um, and then finally we have Willard. Who can cast Bolt 2? I, I don't remember him being able to do that uh, before, but hey, that's th this is what we got to deal with now. So, Willard has 100 HP, which is high. 48 magic points, so he's not going to run out of cast for Bolt 2. He's going to be annoying as hell. Uh, 77 attack, which is high. 46 defense, which is fairly average right about now. Only 37 agility, which is actually kind of low by now standards. And 6 movement. And I believe that is all that we have to look at. So, we're going to do our usual. Set up a defensive line and see what we can get to come towards us. We're going to take a quick, uh, a quick stab at this bubbling ooze here. Damn. Okay. We certainly chunked him down, didn't we? Alright. Uh, we may as well keep going there and see if we can kill him off before he gets an attack off. You may have noticed, by the way, that uh, I've added a um, uh, an introduction to my video. Uh, I always thought that I was maybe like lacking one. Uh, and so, last night, uh, I spent like... God, I spent a lot of time on that thing. Um, I'm fairly happy with it, if I'm being honest. I, I've never made uh, an intro like that before. I um, always wanted to try, but never had sort of like the... the I, th I thought he was going to get a second attack there and slightly be dead in one one attack. But, but yeah, um, I've never had really sort of like the inspiration to do one or the... The, uh, the drive to do it. And I ended up doing it all in like one night, more or less. I, I, I worked on it for about, I don't know, five hours last night and another two or three today to get it done. Um, I really like it. I, I think it's good. But, uh, you know, my, I, I may be slightly biased. I don't know. <laughs> um, it certainly uh, 
is themed around the sort of stuff that I enjoy anyway, so... That's what really matters, isn't it? Hey! Nice one, Kiri. Hopefully Luke should be able to finish him off. There we go. 35 crit. Nice! I'm going to leave uh, Rick there, just in case this bubbling ooze gets uh, another turn soon. Because I don't really want um, the ooze being able to get to uh, to Slade and finish him off. Because um, there is a danger of that happening. That's annoying. <laughs> okay. That's also kind of annoying, but I think Elric should be able to do the job here. There we go, okay. I've noticed, by the way, that Elric's level ups uh, have been more effective um, than May's have been. Uh, May seems to be getting like only one um, increased attack when she levels up, but Elric is getting two, and you know it's, it should be fairly obvious that the stat the stat that you want for a ranged uh, DPS dealer is attack. So in the long run, it might actually work out that Elric is the right the right choice in terms of uh, you know the uh, the one to pick. We'll just have to see. Uh, it shouldn't be too long until we get um, Janet as well, actually, which is uh, Elric's girlfriend. Um, and I'm wondering how she's going to act as well. Uh, we're going to get an influx, by the way, of um, of characters. Uh, and I'm going to do... I might just do a, a video entirely devoted to uh, trying them all out and seeing what they look like and um, how they are. See if there are any uh, big changes there. Um, I haven't decided yet. Because obviously once I've done with this section at Mr. Creed's uh, place, I will be offered um, the uh, chance to take um, one of the uh, the characters that we saw on the tabletop with us. Um, and I'm rather curious to see if any of them have been changed. I mean, as we saw with Elric, they haven't really changed that much from some of the tertiary characters. By tertiary, I mean the, the characters that aren't um, that you don't get earlier. Oh wow! You all saw that, right? Jesus. Okay. Well, we know not to take the rats lightly then. Huh. I think I should be safe here because the the bubbling oozes can only move four spaces, so running forward and attacking the rats is fairly safe. Yeah, they can't they can't reach us in one turn. So <coughs> oh, excuse me. Yeah, there we go. We're safe for another turn. Um, don't really want to play Slade there, because he's still quite squishy. Oh, that's alright. Assuming that Confused is a disable, like I assume it is. Um, I want to place Luke there, because uh, it, it uh, opens up the, uh, the rat's forward section to attack. Um... Because obviously not everyone can move as much as uh, Luke can, so... Man, Rick is getting some serious second uh, attacks off. I think that's the third the third attack in a row where he's had uh, more than one, one attack. Nice. Um... 
shoot, I actually... Who's low on HP now? I think it's Rick, isn't it? Everyone else is pretty much full health. Apart from level ups. Yeah. I can't reach Rick, though. So... Uh, I think we'll just... Do that. We'll do that instead. Yeah, I'm hoping that uh, they have done something with the uh, the other characters to, to change the way that they look. Uh, because obviously I have the uh, Secret Book and the Vigor Ball uh, and the um, the Silver Tank uh, special items. But uh, I obviously didn't use those on the uh, other characters that I could have done. Um, so I'm hoping that I can use those on some of the tertiary characters and... Uh, get some payoff for it, essentially. Um, I w if I'm being honest, I, I was kind of disappointed with um, the lack of change that I saw from uh, Elric in particular. Oh, this could be bad. Man. I just have to hope that the bubbling users aren't too clever. Uh, I wonder if I do that, that would actually save him. One, two... Yeah, if I do that, the bubbling Uzis can't reach uh, Luke. So, I'll body block there. They could have got around anyway, but they chose not to. I'll have to. I'll have to just put that down to my brilliant tactics there. Um. Yeah, Blaze Two should finish him off. I would have thought. There we go. Okay. Um, I'm pretty sure, by the way, if I have to choose uh, a um, character to, to actually bring with me and not just show off to, to see if there are any changes, uh, it's probably going to be Kana. I, I know it's the it's the the choice that everyone chooses, but it's for good reason. She's a good character. Um, and I don't know. The, the more I think about it, uh, there is the the sort of the possibility of maybe getting uh, I forget what the the tank's name is. The the guy who could be a gladiator like Yaha. Um, I mean, I am a little bit short on frontline characters that can take a hit. Although saying that Yaha died in one one attack, but you get what I mean. Um, I'm a little bit short in that department. I've got lots of damage, but not a lot of uh, tanks. So maybe that's something to think about. Um, we'll come to that when we come to that, anyway. Because uh, right now, we're in the middle of kicking some of the rat bute. Um, for some reason, I thought Luke had a healing spell, but that's obviously not the case. Nice. Excuse me. That's a good heal. All right, so... Uh, I hope this doesn't hurt too much. Alright, that's not too bad. Okay. Ah, Kiwi. Damn it. Kiwi's lack of magic resist is bloody awful. Oh, Peter. Yeah. This fight just got annoying. Should I just focus Willard? Because that bolt 2 is going to be a pain in the ass, isn't it? I think I should. I think I should just go all out and try and kill Willard off before he can get another attack off. Because bolt 2 is such an annoying spell. I might lose Slade in, in the long run for it, but... Um, it's definitely worth doing. Damn, that's annoying.
I was hoping Kazin could actually reach him. Uh, Will Ard, that is, and do some damage, but... Oh well. Uh, yeah. So I was just seeing uh, how everybody stacked up. Um, put Elric there, he's in danger, but he's in danger from the oozers who have a lower attack, so that's probably the way to go. Alright, we're getting down to half health now. Nice, Luke. One, one, two, two, one. That's a pretty bad level up, by the way, compared to everyone else. Um, come on, Chester. Do double digits for me. Be less useless than you are, please. Alright, well, Slade's gonna die. Uh, Alright, I need to keep an eye on Bowie here, don't I? Make sure he doesn't... Uh, get beat up too much. Alright, gal. Do some business for me, will you? I'm not sure if this is one of those fights where I automatically win the fight now, but I kind of hope it is. Uh-oh. Alright, well, we've attacked this rat once. Let's uh, beat up on this one. 40 damage! Nice. Hopefully Luke can take that. Just... Rick can take that, that's, that's fine. Yeah. Um... It's probably worth me trying to do that. If the rat gets another turn, um, then obviously you'll kill him, but there's a chance that uh, Luke can survive another attack. Especially if he's placed there. Come on, Luke. Yeah. I'll tell you what, I, I always gave Luke uh, a bunch of um, uh, grief because of how overall useless he is in the, uh, the base game, but I'll tell you what, they've... They've really tweaked him, or rebalanced him, so that he isn't in this. He's frankly, frankly, quite good. Um, which <laughs> is shocking me, the fact that I'm even saying that, so... Chester has a heal, I should have been using that. Oh well. It's funny how that only did like 7 damage to uh, Kaz in there, but whatever. Um, another attack would be nice. Uh, Alright, we'll put Bowie there so that um, Kaz in front of him. So, we only have the two oozes left. We'll try and get rid of that one first. Nice. Okay. And now we're going to... Yeah, we're going to do that. So there we go. Hopefully, I don't think we'll have any casualties in this turn. The only one that could die is uh, maybe uh, Geralt. But hopefully that doesn't happen. Hopefully. <laughs> Seven's better than one. Okay, I think we're going to be alright. A bit harsh, okay. Uh, 
I would even say, by the way, that Luke's like pretty OP, actually. He does decent physical damage and has decent uh, utility from his spells. And Rick getting a double attack again. I really have to think, by the way, that uh, the amount of movement you have uh, has a lot to do with... Like, his agility is only 39. I say only. He actually has the highest out of everybody. Okay, I'm guessing agility just is down to how many attacks you can do. Or are likely to do. I'm so used to Chester just being a damage dealer that I keep forgetting he has heal. Like, that would have been a good chance for him to heal himself and maybe someone else as well. That's so annoying. Alright, that's going to do it for that fight. That's a good level up. I like many, many attack damages. Uh, so the one thing I want to check is... Actually, was there something there? No. I couldn't remember if there was anything to pick up there, so... Whatevs. Uh, I think the way to go was down here, wasn't it? No? Am I just being blind? Uh, it has been a long time, by the way, so please excuse my inability to find out where I'm supposed to be going. Uh, oh yeah, of course, it's over here. I don't think there's another fight, by the way, so I think... Is there another fight? I'm going to go back and treat everybody, and then come back. Uh, so, we're back. We're about to go on to... Meet Mr. Creed, I believe. How sensitive must his ears be, by the way? Yeah. So it's Goliath's fault. For being a bad man. I'm trying not to swear. <laughs> So if, if he's saying the collection is being rather noisy, he should be able to hear us down there. For a devil, he's very... Uh, He's very uh, kind, and um, what's the word? He has, he has good manners. You know, he's uh, he, he seems like a nice devil, if such a thing can be said. Those incantations, by the way, something special. Hello, fairy. Ah, but he isn't, though. Yeah, just slap her out of the way. Jesus Christ. No, we're just playing a trick on you. Of course it's true. Oh, what... Glass half full, mate. And I am blind as I run past the new additions. Because they're right here, you.
Yeah, get out, peon. I can't remember the evil spirit. Oh, I do, actually. Now I think about it. Is there actually anything for me to take here? Today's magic. Don't mind me. Just have a quick rummage around in your shelves. See what you got. Let's say study of ruins. Call of evil. Fiends. Newt cooking. Okay. Demon kings. Evil contact. Magical changes. These all sound like teen uh, books, really, to be honest. Man, you got some space in your basement. Jesus Christ. There you go, that's more of an incantation. That's pretty much what I was expecting, not one, two, three, abracadabra, come on. I remember this guy, he's creepy looking. Yeah, there he is. Well, yeah. Some of the translations for this bit are a bit weird. Like, could we say the obvious a little less, please? Creed, what do you want? No, the other Xeon that lives down the street. More speaking of the obvious. By the way, whenever I saw this bit and it says he displays the jewels, in my head it's just like, he's just going like that. Yeah, I feel it. I feel it. Oh, I think I can do it now. Oh, <laughs> oh dear me. Wave bye bye to the the uh, dark. Is it dark spirit? Evil spirit? Evil spirit. Wave bye bye, evil spirit. Yep. A lot of mischief. Uh-oh. <laughs> Subtlety is not Zeon's strength. I'm Zeon, the king of the devils! Hello! <laughs> Who's contacting me? Do you want to die? Yeah, I see a jewel. Zeon apparently is a little bit camp. And I get the feeling that it's probably going to continue for the rest of the game. <laughs> Your Bowie, I see you! <laughs> yeah, of course. I was going to anyway, don't worry about it. Mmm. Goo! Sorry, sorry, I'm not keeping in character, am I? Goo! 
I thought we got to see Zeon's face. No? no I guess not. <laughs> That's pretty unfortunate for evil spirit. Is the colour still wrong on this? It just seems a little... sort of... bland, maybe? Why do you think? Like, it's a jewel of evil. Anything that's evil, Xeon probably wants. Analog stick for the win. Yeah, the color was definitely off. Yay, let's go. Oh. Analog stick again. Okay. Please choose one. They don't give me any more context than that. But anyway, uh, that's going to do it for today's episode. Uh, obviously, next episode, we're going to take a quick look at each of the four the uh, characters that are here so that we can uh, have a look through them, see their promotion paths, and see if there are any changes uh, made by the mod. Um, but that's going to do it for today. Uh, thank you for joining me. I've been Woodhouse204, and I'll see you next time. Bye.